Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Lauren or Laren. Um, this is by Dutch Landscape. It is 303.04 megabytes to download, currently only for PC and Mac players. Um, so as you can see right off the bat, we have a little message here. It says Lauren Gelderland. Um, welcome to Laren. I think you are here to make a fresh start. We wish you a lot of success on this map. We have put a lot of love and attention into this map and therefore hope you will enjoy it. Get in the car and drive to your farm success. So I don't know if that'll go away. Oh, maybe we can only see it. That's what a unique thing to have, because then it's not there, really. You know, it's still here. That's very cool. Very, very unique start to the map there. But anyhow, I'm going to continue reading the description and we'll get into this. So it says this is a Dutch map based on real place or based on a real place in the Netherlands called Laren. Uh, 96 fields, five cell points, uh, small BGA, custom made license plates, custom textures, custom color grading, six farms, more stone types, drawable. I hope you like the map. Have fun. And then there are a bunch of required mods, which uh, will automatically download um, if you download it from the in game mod. It. Otherwise, you have to download them individually. But just be aware of that. So, um, yeah, pretty nifty. What do we start off with here? So, we are, where are we at? We're down at the bottom of the map. New farm mode, we have these three chunks of land over here, and it looks like we can buy everything if we'd like to, which is pretty cool. Um, there are chunks out here, which is kind of interesting. Those are all dark out there. I don't know if... I don't know if that's like a coming soon type thing, since they don't have crops on them, uh, but they are out there, so maybe that's a coming soon type thing and we can't access those. We'll kind of take a look and see. Um, I am going to, since we know what we own here, I'm going to buy all the land in a second. But on our land, which looks like it's all um, grass, it doesn't, oh, well, it doesn't really show up on there. But regardless of that, um, and there's not, there's not a lot of crops showing up on here either. I wonder if that's intentional. This seems extreme if that's all you can uh, plant on here. It has everything else listed. That is quite... Quite unique. I've never quite seen that on a map before. Yeah, that's all the crop types listed. That's uh, that's really strange. I wonder if you can even do the other ones. Super strange. I don't know. Uh, but anyhow, we have a cow barn, silo three, slurry storage, three layers, and a farmhouse over on our farm, among some other equipment and things. Um, I also didn't see a car for us to get in and drive over there. Kind of made it sound like that was what we were going to do. Um, but yeah. Moving down from there, uh, we've been through here. We'll take a look at starting equipment in the store in a second. Start with $100,000, new farm mode, just the cow barn to start out. Um, there are contracts on fields you do not own, so you have those available to you. You do own the BJ and the Dutch sawmill to start. Um, 20 collectibles on the map. Always, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn this off. Does that put... Nope, still turn... has all that stuff. Interesting. Very strange. Very strange. Um, let's go ahead and purchase all the land to make sure we don't miss anything. Um, a few more things popped up for sure. We have a sheep pasture for one. Just right up here on our left. It has some sheep already in it, actually, it looks like. Where do we put more sheep in? Oh, is that in there? Okay, well, I see it now. I assume we can... Oh, wow, how do we get into there? Okay, well, anyhow, there we go. 10 sheep to start. And hold the 100. Kind of nifty. I'm also going to fast forward time, actually, so we can hopefully see it a little bit better on the map. There we go. Um, I'm just going to keep running for now. We'll run up to the store, which is just up around the corner, and then I will purchase ourselves a truck so we can continue to drive around the map. But yeah, I don't think there's anything terribly exciting out this way other than the sheep pasture there. We have a nice little intersection here. So if we go right, it looks like we have kind of a farm set up over there, which I know they did say there's multiple farms, and I'm kind of seeing a few farms dotted about. Um, so it looks like that's most of what's going on on the map. We head this way. This should take us up to the store up here on our left. And here we are. Here's the store point right here. Repair trigger. Drop maybe two repair triggers? Vehicle workshop. What was that other one? Might just be two vehicle workshops. Okay, kind of nifty. So you kind of have two things you can do there. Can I access that? There we go. It's loading. There we go. And starting out new farm mode, we do start off with a couple small tractors, a Fent Fabric 511C and a Zeter Proxima HS80. 
Also have a little Schaefer front loader and a bucket and bale spike to go with it. We have a small trailer, small plow, small cultivator, small mower, small tether, small windrower, forage wagon, and then we have one weight right there. So uh, very limited stuff. Hopped out of it. Let me get back in there. I was trying to get back into it just by clicking, but I couldn't because I was too far. Let's get in here and just buy ourselves Oh, no, we don't need two of them. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so what I think we'll do, we'll drive out this way and we'll probably head down over to kind of our farm and check out this area. Then I think we'll hit the rest of the flyover because most of it's just kind of farm area. So we'll take a look at that, I think. Kind of do it that way. It's a little tight to get in and out of the store here, that's for sure. Cross through here. So left-hand side here, another farm area. They have an animal barn for cows, silo, fuel tank, and another silo there. Yeah, we're just gonna, yep, just head up this way. Perfect. That was close. Uh, straight ahead, we have a fuel tank. And if we take a left. Make sure we don't get ran off the road. Um, on the right-hand side over there, we have a BGA. Also have a couple of cell points, a fuel tank, and the animal dealer coming up here on the right. And then to get into our farm... Assuming there's like a path or something. This might go in towards it. No, not really. Okay, hedges kind of have a collision. Our farm is back for us. See if we can kind of cut through here. Yeah, so this is our farm back here. So at our farm, we have the storage silo here. If I can access it and do seeds, mineral feed. That's it. Doing sleep trigger there. Some bunker silos. This is probably cows. Which I don't know where we're putting cows in. Might miss the trigger somewhere. Uh, oh, there they are. There's the trigger to put cows in. Just inside. Oh, it's over in here. How do I get into that? I guess I do have to come through one of those small doors. 40 cows can go in here. Fuel tank there. We have this guy right here, which is a slurry storage. This is pretty much our farm. Pretty straightforward, pretty basic. I think we're just going to hop straight into a flight mode here, because I think we'll be able to see a little bit better on the map uh, what's going on. So, you can see here we have our main farm, right through here, all set up, and then we have these two grass fields. And down here, so this is, that's kind of the no man's land area out here, which it looks like is blocked. Okay, so you can buy land out there, so it's just an extension. I'm assuming that's going to come later to the map. Um, but yeah, over here, we just have a fuel tank if you want to land down there, but you can't get access to it looks like past that area around the outside of what's actually put in. So, um, yeah. Down here, that's our farm there. We have another cow farm down here. The BGA is right there. Nice little BGA complex. Now, to get into our farm, oh, it looks like off of this road down here. So, this road, I just needed to go further down and actually go down that way. So that's how you would have gotten in. Now we do have our farm right down there. We have the shop right there. Where we started is down here. Over there is where we started. And then we have another farm actually off in the distance over here. It's perfect. There's a little stuff dotted here and there. A lot of different stuff going on. You have like and you have our, that's a sheep pasture there. You have our little sheep pasture there. So you have one down there, one down there. But mostly just kind of farms, farms area, farm area, stuff like that. Lots of good decorative buildings. Some strangely shaped fields, but it seems to be like they were trying to do it to be genuine to the area. So I like that. We have the uh, trading point there. Sell, sell stuff up there. 
kind of an open area there. You can put a production down or something if you'd like to. Again, you can see the no man's land off in the distance. Over here, we have another farm area here for cows. Then we have our pigs farm right over here, actually. And then coming across here, I think we have a couple cell points. Yeah, we have the debris crusher, fuel tank, and we have the sawmill over there. And then if we dip back down, this is a big pig farm right here. So lots of pigs going into here and doing all that sort of stuff. Got some trees through here. It looks like a lot of people camping, which is pretty cool. Is that an RV in there? Yeah. There's people walking around. Look at that. This is really cool. Look at that. All the deer running around, everything. This is a great campsite. Fantastic. I don't see that much wildlife that close to all those people. Anyhow, uh, quite cool. I like that. And again, you can't access that kind of outside peripheral area, but yeah. That's the map in essence there. That gives you guys a good gist for it to see if it's something you might be interested in. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this map tour, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.